What's up gamers? This is NGG here with another pick us video. This is for September 2023. We got in a lot of stuff for September. A lot of these were pre-ordered from previous months, but we also got a few pickups as well from this month at gifts. Um probably will go in the back just because one of them, one or two of them are non-gaming related. So I'll put them in the back. And then we definitely got uh, from a publisher, we got a game to show you as well. We've already done an unboxing for. All right, let's get to these games. The first game we have here for you is Nor9 Last Era Limited Edition. This is from Access Games, and it was provided by Access Games as an unboxing copy for you guys to unbox for the channel. And we're going to thank Access again for providing this copy. And I've done an unboxing video of this, and it is on the channel already. I will link the the pin on the top right comment. Um, so this is a visual novel. This is the second part, or a fan disc is what they call it, of Nor9 Commons. And now, um, which means that this game should not, should not, I repeat, should not be played unless you played the other game. I would not play this game because this is, this will have some prequel stuff, but it'll also have a lot of stuff that happened um, at, after the end of the game. So you do not want to play this one first. You want, if you haven't gotten Nor9 yet, um, Nor9 Commons is the first part, and then this one is the second. The next game I have for you is the first game I got from Play Asia. Um, this I think I ordered definitely this month. Um, so this game is called God Wars The Complete Legend. Now this is by NIS America, but I picked up my copy through Play Asia uh, because this game got delisted and this, my friends, is why I love physicals because even though it's no longer in the eShop, I can still play this game if I want with the physical copy um, that I have here. Uh, so I definitely will leave links in the description uh, below for the Play Asia if they still have any in stock or the Video Games Plus if they still have any stock if you guys are interested in this game. Now the premise of this game is like these people are trying to like satiate these gods who uh, who kind of are like if you don't do the right thing in the land that the land goes into disaster so this queen sacrifices one of her daughters and then as her older daughter is growing up She's set to sacrifice her, but I don't, I think her best friend rescues her, and I guess it's like a little bit like, sounds like, um, uh, my time at Setsuna, if any of you guys have heard that, a lot of like, or Final Fantasy X, where these people are supposed to be sacrificed, yeah, this, uh, it, it's steeped with very Japanese traditional, um, stuff, so, yeah, I'm super excited to have my hands on it. Of course, you know, this is probably going to be one of those things that are super expensive because it was delisted. Alright, so let's get to the next game from Play Asia. The next game I have from you from Play Asia is Warriors Orochi 3 Ultimate Edition. Now, um, it has a, another name, but it's Musui. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I just call it Warriors Orochi 3. Now, I played Warriors recently the ultimate edition and it looks very similar the cover but this is part three so this is the pre pre before that one and uh, I really liked how they mixed the warrior style games with the like Olympians like uh, like Greek mythology and so I love Greek mythology if you guys don't know so even though that game was so so long like so long for no reason with like four different endings like I at the end of the day did enjoy it so I definitely wanted to get part three I don't believe part one and two are on the switch so this will probably be the only other one that I'll be able to play unless they come out with number five um, so yeah I did quite enjoy the game I do like my Warriors style Muso games if you guys didn't know they are just hella relaxing games for me and I usually just unwind with them. And this game I bought for $58.99. At one point it was like $75. So when it went back down, I picked it up. And the last Play Asia pickup I have for you here is Coffee Talk uh, 1 and 2 Double Pack. Now I had 
pre-ordered this at my local Target, but they kept pushing back the date, pushing back the date, pushing back the date. And I don't know, but I know some people aren't a fan of this, but I am. I love when they do both in one. I'd rather have the shelf space than have the disc be on separate discs. So I definitely like that both games are on one pack. These are um, visual novels kind of game so it's a lot of reading and answering questions um the second part I, I guess just released so i don't know too much about the second one but i know a lot of people did like coffee talk one and i know you're like uh talking to everybody in the coffee shop getting their orders right and stuff like that so definitely a visual novel um so very cozy game in the visual novel space this game cost me 40 dollars so it definitely was cheaper than the two I was picking up at Target, which were going to be $35 each. So super happy about not paying full price and paying less for two copies in one, which is always a nice, nice thing. Oh, actually, no, no, no. So all my Play Asia purchases um, got... God Wars was $49.99. Coffee Talk was $53.99. And Warriors Ultimate was $58.99. So I had all the prices wrong, guys. The next game I have for you is from Video Games Plus. Um, this, they were having a restock of some limited run games. And since I didn't order these on limited run because I missed out, and some at that point I kind of didn't want to order because I never get the game on time. I just waited and um, I I missed out on the first set of orders and thankfully they got a little bit of a restock and I got Night Into the Woods and this is um, a, a game about like this college dropout who comes home and is like trying to reconnect with friends and is having a hard time. Finds out that something's going on in the woods and you know that and their their adventure ensues so this is a, a adventure game um and I, it looked interesting i definitely wanted to try it i've heard good things i did hear you know bad things about the the the, the person who made it i think this was a one person show who made it so but uh yeah so i'm excited to play this game and i was very happy that um video games plus had some of the Night of the Woods in stock. This game cost me Canadian. I don't know what it is in USD. Canadian, it cost me $64.99. But that's definitely not how much it cost in um, USD. I have to find out how much it was USD. The next game I got from Video Games Plus was the Double Dragon and Kunio Kun Retro Brawler Bundle. Now, I want to say that this is less Double Dragon and more Kunio Kun collection as it has only three titles of the 15 that are in there uh, being Kunio Kun, but I guess because Double Dragon is more of the known title. So it has Double Dragon 1, 2, and 3, and then it has... Um, I believe it has a bunch of Kunio Kun games such as Super Dodgeball, Renegade, um, River City Ransom is in here, and I know that was going for a lot, and I have become a big, like, River City Girls fan, and, you know, Kunio is from River City Girls, as that one of his girlfriends is in the thing, and he makes an appearance in River City Girls, so they tie into that franchise a lot, so I kind of been getting into all of these brawlers, and it's, I'm so happy that I did not miss out on this, because I did find out about this after I got into a little bit more of uh, River City Girls, and now I'm able to play all the Kunio, a lot, not all, but most of the Kunio Kun games that were never even released here in the U.S., and super happy about this collection. There is another like double dragon collection, which includes one through four, but this is just missing four. So if I wanted to just pick up four or just leave it as it as is, I might have four already on my Genesis bundle. I just 
have to check. But definitely super excited that um, Video Games Plus released this game, um, re-released it from Limited Run. I paid um, for both games a total of $96.42. I don't know how much each game was, but $92 for two games, one of which is a big old collection brawler bundle. The next game I have for you is Doubt Cells Return to Castlevania Edition. Now, this is Dead Cells plus the Castlevania DLC and all previous DLC from the Dead Cells series, so I think like the Game of the Year edition is here and all that stuff. Um, this is just their latest uh, game with the DLC included. Now, I've been getting into Castlevania games, guys, since I played Ritual of the Night is what I played, and so it's a similar-ish to the Castlevania series, not actual Castlevania. I bought this from Video Games Plus, uh, no, not Video Games Plus. Uh, Video Games New York. Those two names being so close together on my on my list definitely confused the heck out of me. So yeah, VG, VGNYC is where I got this one from and definitely, definitely very interested. I actually always wanted to get the Delta Dead Cells game, but um, I never did. And so I'm super happy that now I have it along with the Castlevania DLC. The next game I picked up from Video Games New York is Just Dance 2018. Now, I said it in my last uh, video that I am collecting all the Just Dance games as I kind of know that they're closing down their online limited store and moving it over to the new series and their new series is all digital and if you guys know me I don't do I said it earlier I don't do digital I do physical so I'm just now like these copies are in the house they are my daughters but when she leaves or when she moves she'll probably take them with her so I just kind of wanted to have them with me and them being mine because I do just like to play just dance randomly and if I want to change in between songs I'll have uh, all the songs that I want to change in between and they'll be mine so this is definitely um, not a, an expensive game I, I got from video games of New York just paid $20 for and was super excited to have it in the collection now the next game I have for you is from GameStop now I purchased this as you can see it's a used copy for $24.99 this has the black dreaded black box not the not the white clear box but this is also not a legitimate backing this is their their um the one that they put on the store shelves copy and so i definitely uh picked it up i'm not kind of happy with the case but my daughter wanted to throw away her cases at one point and told me i could have her cases if i was able to replace these games on my own so i found just dance 20, 20 uh, 2019 I'm gonna be taking her case, which is this one, which has all the songs listed on the back. So, um, yeah, at least I got a case for her game so that it's not just like an empty case, even though she's gonna throw it away anyway. So if she does decide to throw it away, she has this case in order to like do whatever she wants with it, as this is the one she can keep since she was gonna throw it away anyway but i definitely like i said before i am just picking up all the just dance games i am missing now just as 2017 2016 and 2017 so 2016 i think was wii u exclusive and 2017 was on the switch so i just have to pick up two more and i think i'll be caught up with all the the like in line just dance games and then i'll probably have to go get off look for the spin-offs later but yeah super happy to have this just dance in my collection the next game I have for you is Signalis. And uh, now, Signalis is a, like, a horror visual, I mean, not horror, the horror game. So uh, I think it's a, not an RPG, but an uh, action adventure. It's maybe the genre it falls in. It's definitely a mature title as it is, you know, a horror in the horror genre. Uh, 
it is 16, 16 bit, I think I kind of want to say. It, it looks definitely like an indie game, and I believe it is an indie game. Uh, I'm not exactly sure if it's not, but definitely a game I had wanted to pick up um, for Spooky Season. I don't know that I'll get to play it for this Spooky Season, but I definitely wanted to have it in my collection, as I hear very, very good things about this game, and so I was super excited for it. This game cost me... $30. I, I bought it was a I bought two get one free so um, along with another game um, so I don't know if I can consider this one the free game I'll tell you why in a second um, so let me just take this one out of here the next game I picked up at Best Buy was Thrine 5 I have Thrine 1 through 4 physically I played Thrine 1 and half of Thrine 2 and enjoyed it a lot this is definitely a puzzler adventure game where like you are I think this one's four players but before it was three players where you were a wizard a thief and a knight um, tracking through uh, the world and now I don't remember the the first game too much I might just have to go and replay them they are very short games um, probably why it only cost $30 Digitally, it'll probably be even cheaper, but definitely enjoy these kind of puzzle games. I played with my sister. You can play these games online with up to three. Like I said, this one might be four. I think four was four players, and I think this one is also four players. Let, let, let's see the back. Let's see the back. Yes, up to four players online. So definitely excited to have this as part of my collection as I did like one and two a lot um, now this is where it gets the tricky on how much I paid so this one's also $30 but I bought this copy for myself and my nephew has a birthday coming up and he has all of the ride one through four as well so I bought him one for his birthday so I wanted one for me and one for him and then I got Signalis as my free game because I'm, I'm part of the membership program at Best Buy so it's always buy to get one free um, on Switch games or same price-ish like if you if I would have bought something more expensive uh, I would have only had $30 off of whatever the next item was so I usually try to buy things in the same price and since I wanted a copy of this for myself and a copy of that for my nephew for his birthday I guess I could have said I got Signalis for free <clears throat> or the free game was my nephew's I really don't know but one of these games was free the next game I got from Best Buy is Pikmin uh, 1 and 2 I was so happy when they announced Pikmin 1 and 2 physically for the Nintendo Switch now I already have this game I know I already have this game but uh, I am more likely to play it on my Nintendo Switch I played Pikmin 1 on my sister's GameCube copy I never really played my Wii copy of this game and um I love Pikmin guys so I'll probably just keep supporting the Pikmin franchise you can now get the full set of Pikmin games on the Nintendo Switch minus their spin-off title which was Hey Pikmin and super fun these games are a little harder than they they people will perceive them as like they look like cute cute little games but they are hard um they are hard uh if you're not aware uh i know for a while my sister didn't play them she played pikmin 3 with me and i think now she'll enjoy the other pikmin games so we shall see uh i paid let's see i believe i paid $50 for Pikmin, so it wasn't a full $60 game, which is great guys, please Nintendo do not bring your collection, like it should have been lower, it should have been $40 for both of these games, as they are both were at like their their greatest hits versions, I think they had greatest hits versions um, for at least one of them before. The next game I have for you is The Legend of Nayuta. Uh, Boundless Trails. Now this is part of the Trails of series. Now I'm going to tell you, or the Legends of series, I don't know. I know Legends of and Trails are in the titles of all their games. And they're bringing all of these over to the West. These were games that were just 
um, stuck in the East and now have finally gotten a transla translation and brought over to the West. So I am just picking them all up. I hear these games are great. I have not had a chance to play any of the games in the series. I don't know where this falls in line in the series. But I am still collecting all the games in the series. I'm hoping to get the Legends of Coastal 1 and 2. And I'm hoping they bring Trails of the Sky uh, over. And then the full collection of these games will be on the Switch as well. But they are slow going releasing them. They actually, I think, are releasing two or three a year. Which is fun for the people who love the Legends of or the Trails of series. Uh, but yeah, so um, I don't know too much about it because obviously... I picked this up just collecting all of the ones because I hear these games are great games. The next game I have for you is Room Factory Special Edition. This is number three. So I have four and five already. And I am trying, I'm hoping they release one and two and then we'll have the full collection on the Switch. Who knows? But. Uh, they are coming out with different games as well. I think some spin-off games uh, that they announced. But the, this was, from what I hear, a really good part of the franchise. Um, so I was super, super excited about ordering this game, getting it. This is much bigger than their other collector's editions, which suck a little because I would have liked them to be in the same size, if that makes sense to you guys. Like, I wanted them to be fit all in the same, like, area. And this one is just slightly bigger, guys. And, um, not something I appreciate, but, um, yeah, slightly bigger. So I purchased this with another farming sim that came out this same month. Um, and, yeah, I'm probably not going to get to this one for a while because I'm still hoping for Room Factory 1 and 2 to come out so I can play them all in order. But let's get that other game out. The next game I have for you that I purchased at Best Buy is Bay Farm. Now, this is where I started doing the membership of where I did the buy two, get one free. And so not really buy two because I got this game, Room Factory 3, and um, Loop 8, Summer of God. That one was, I got, uh, I, it came out last month, so that wasn't last month's pickup. And so I ended up having to pay $50 for the membership. So I would say that instead of this being free, I got it for $10 off uh, because the membership was $50 and um, they, they considered this one the $60 game free. Um, but so I, I'm going to say this was $10 off and that made the getting the, the membership worth it because I was going to be picking up these games anyway. Um, so I bought these two and Loop 8. Uh, together and so this one is ten dollars off and super fun game guys guys i've never been able to get into a farming sim before i love this game i'm already on chapter seven of this game i've been hitting this game so freaking hard so freaking hard it's such a good game i'm probably going to be doing a review for it sometime in november if not sooner i love this game i'm enjoying the freak out of it i like want to play it again with other people um because you can play this game online multiplayer though it looks like the host account is the only one that is able to keep any progression so i guess whoever hosts it if you're playing with multiple people you are like considered that person like if that person is playing with you um it's you plus like your your all the stuff is split into like half or four or, or one third you are the same person when you're playing online so uh all the stuff you get the other person gets uh so it's like having yourself split in half so like say i want to go mining but i also have to go farming well if somebody who enjoys farming better um, plays the farming part while I play the mining part. We are still playing on the same team and helping each other out. Oh, the game is so good. I really want to play this with friends, guys. So excited about this game. I can't sing its praises enough. There are some glitches in this game and I'm hoping that they fix it because I will get into the glitches in the review, but right now I am enjoying it despite all the glitches. 
the next thing I have for you is moving out too. This is by Team 17. Now, if you guys know, I love, love, love Overcooked um, and all its franchises. This is from the same publishers. I don't know if it's the same creators, but it definitely follows the same concept of Overcooked, except for you are moving. Um, so, you, yeah, you're moving furniture instead of uh, cooking foods. And so same hilarity kind of stuff it happens. Though, I think the screen moves up and down a little bit. It's not just one little screen and you're moving in that screen. The screen does move up and down. This is online multiplayer. I have yet to play it online. Obviously, my copy is still sealed. Uh, but super excited to have it part of the collection. And we want to thank Lamako as he has gifted this to me as a present. I think he knew how excited I was. But I think he might eventually get himself a copy as well because... He also, I think, is going to play with me this game, and I think my sister might as well. As like, like I said, this is like an overcooked, and all three of us used to play that game together. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Monaco, for gifting me um, this game, along with this right here is um, buttons for my 3DS. As my 3DS button messed up, this, this rubbery part here, um, so I need to go back and fix it. So uh, I gotta fix the rubbery part on my 3DS and this is just gonna help uh, replace that rubbery part that was messed up. So I'm super excited to go in there and fix it when I have time. I have two pieces here. So hopefully if I mess up on one, there is, there is another to fix it. So hopefully that is not the case. I also got this um, desk mat for my table from Monaco, and we want to thank Monaco for this as well. This is Luna and Artemis for those who don't know from Sailor Moon, and it's so pretty. And thank you, thank you again Monaco for all your presents. The next item I received as a gift was from Big Time. Big Time and me share a passion of Star Trek. and um, I love Data. Data was one of my favorite characters in Star Trek. I know this is not gaming related, but this is part of my pickups for this month. And so, yeah, super happy and thankful that I got this from him. I'm so looking forward to putting on the tree. This is definitely this year's edition of Hallmark Ornaments super excited he bought one for himself too so it'd be nice that we both have them on the tree so as soon as it goes on the tree I'll probably shoot over a picture to him on my discord or a DM him the picture of how it looks on my tree super excited I love the the franchise the Star Trek versus Star Wars guys and I know that's blasphemous for some people but there it is and the last pick up guys I finally got my Pikachu happy meal box along with the cards I didn't buy the meal because you know you I don't know if you guys know you can buy the stuff separate um, you just pay for the toy separate and I didn't want them to put the greasy meal inside the box so I just paid for the box so now I finally got the Pokemon the Pikachu box along with the, the Pokemon cards that are inside that are exclusive to the McDonald's, I I know that a lot of people used to scalp these. I'm not, I just wanted one and I didn't want to pay scalper prices. So super excited to have this as part of my collection and I'm so happy that I got the water Pokemon as it was my starter Pokemon in the game. And these are all my pickups for the month of September. 2023 again some of these were pre-orders some of these were gifts some of these were from publishers and we want to thank everybody for helping me with this collection i am so over the moon for all of you guys who get me things or for companies who send me things always extremely feel lucky to be doing YouTube um, and we want to specifically thank our members uh, special thanks to Lazy James and Ink and Dude 55 uh, for our their special memberships 
And thank you for my other members. You guys are amazing. You guys make this happen. Thank you guys for watching. Happy gaming, guys. Bye.